Friday and we are going to go shopping, eat some food, maybe do some rides. I don't know, but let's go have some fun. <laughs> All right guys, we are Hollywood Studios today and we're checking out some of the new merchandise right inside of, oh my gosh, I'm totally blanking on the store, but you guys just saw the clip of the uh, front storefront, so hopefully that is helpful. Um, but I'm seeing some new wishables, which I'm really excited about, namely this Coco one. I love Coco and I love that you can get Miguel, Hector, Ernesto de la Cruz, not too crazy about, but Dante. So they have those, and then they also have the alabrije. My husband will correct my pronunciation, I'm sure. But look at him. Oh my gosh. I feel like I might need to get a couple of those. And I don't remember seeing these Jungle Cruise ones. Look. You've got the um, steamer, a tiger, a skipper, and a hippo. And then the one that's outside is a gorilla wearing like the skipper hat. Oh my gosh. I'm probably gonna grab a couple of those Coco ones. So cute. Speaking of wishables, look at this Disney Parks collection jewelry necklace I found. It's a little Mickey wishable and he comes out and is attached by a red string so you don't lose him. But it's like a little wishable in a pouch necklace. It's so cute for little girls or boys, just little kids. I totally see um, like my students wearing that. And that is Violet. Violet is priced at, I feel like I say it in every video, I really hate the color coding system because when you can't find a color coding chart, like I cannot find right now. I don't know what Violet is, but if anybody has any knowledge of the color coding chart, um, I'm gonna guess it's probably like to anywhere in the 10 to $15 range. And the Wishables were $10 a bag. I don't know if I said that, um, but that's really cute. <laughs> this is unintentionally going to become an entire Wishables video, um, but I found these little kind of like classic keychains that definitely are wishables inspired you can see the disney wishables metal tag there at the top but we've got mickey minnie one lowly stitch all by himself ariel flounder and they are red again i don't see any color chart um but whatever red is that's really cute oh here's one red is 9.99 but I also saw, which are kind of cool, check these out, they're huge. I think these would be really cool on luggage, like, um, you know, your luggage so you can find it in the airport. Those are cool. And those are marked, those are $14.99. Oh, Minnie's turns gold. Oh, that's cool. Fun! Hi, Mama! Hey. All right, here are some new ears. This is the first time I've actually seen these in person. When Abel and I went to Animal Kingdom a while ago now, the stores weren't open at the time we were there, so I couldn't see if they had them. Um, they're super cute. I really want these ones. I love the orange corduroy with the black and white buffalo check. So you probably get those today. Possibly. Maybe the piggy ones. Miss Piggy. I don't love the Muppets though, but that is very cute. With the pearls and her jeweler and her little fluffy ears, those are cute. Those are really cute. And then they also have the emerald green, which I also love because you know, Wicked, Alphaba. We did. But I wanted to show them again because they're so pretty. I know. So it's weird because they pulled the whole um, Wizard of Oz part out of Remember the Ride. I know, great movie they, ride. Where they put um, Mickey's Railroad. Mm -hmm. So there really is no O to this anywhere, but they definitely to me look like Wizard of Oz. Yes, and Emerald City. I agree. There's also a pair of like mustard yellow ears that I don't see here, but I'm sure we'll see them in another shop. All right, we've got some new, it looks very much like a 70s or 80s workout video vibe. 
I think it's by her universe that kind of looks like her style. She does a lot of the loud prints. Yeah. Um, but it's not, so what do I know? Here's a little crop hoodie. That is $44.99. It's very soft, I'll give it that. We've got little biker shorts. These are $34.99. The crop top is $36. And this crop top with the little a ring to knot up the, your shirt is $36.99 as well. So if you want an outfit, that is one. That is one. You know what? It reminds me a lot of um, Eleven and Stranger Things, her jumper. Yeah, but this from is from Olivia Newton John, like Xanadu kind of era. I don't know. It's very bright. I'm not sure about it. It'll be somebody's taste, though. It started pouring, so we darted across to the next door, which I believe is Mickey's of Hollywood. I could be wrong. I'll check out the end. Um, but they have these really sweet denim collection pieces. So they have little denim overalls with Mickey print all over. That's $44.99. Look, it's an extra, extra small. I think this is Juniors because I do too, one, size, 13. yeah, this so is definitely Juniors. Look how 80s those are. Those are but definitely But I love those. I love those. And these shorts are $39. These pants Joggers, are. those are cute. They're so amazing. Look at the elastic on not only the waist, but the ankles. Yeah. Okay, but I'm not mad at that. And these are 49. Mom. You need these. Mom. I love this lace here. Sorry, guys. I'm one-handed because I have a bag full of stuff Caitlin just bought. Listen. I have wishables to open. Okay, I love those. I don't know what size I am in June. Oh, my God. But that is such a cute outfit. Mom. And it would also go really cute with that, which I also think you need because you're adorable and over. Here's the problem, though. The dressing rooms are open, and I don't know my junior size. Um, anyway, these are 40. These that are is 36, 99, so 37. And, and, then and these are all junior sizes. 45, 44, 99. But oh, good lord, look at those. The lace. bottom. Reminds me of when you were three. Oh. I love those. And I love that you can, so this little guy is on the right, so I would wear like the right strap down so you could see the bow. You're small and extra, you're small on the bottom, so you might be in a medium. And yeah, I just don't know, and you can't try anything on right now. Such a pain. Mom, I feel like this, yeah, look, if you turn this around, it's completely open, because I could see the ties. Oh, it comes with like a bandeau you can put on. That's cute. So, you know, your bra strap isn't showing, it's the bandeau that's showing. That would also be very cute with that. I love this whole That's collection. really, really cute with the red ears. Love it. And these are new. They did a subtle change. This bow used to be, I think, a sequin bow like this, but now it's a shimmer bow. I like it. Um, so that's 37. I just love this whole mini side. I also really like the fanny pack. You enable. You enable. I don't like carrying them, but I like the, like the idea of it, the style of it. She and then, yeah, <laughs> for real. And then the denim jacket is 70. So cute. Morgan was like that. She loves the denim jacket. Okay, let's it definitely cleared out in here. It was really busy in here a second ago because of the rain. People were like crowding in. Um, but now it opened up. So here's the new Coco dress, which I love so much more in person than from the pictures oh online. Gosh. Yeah, I did not like it online, but seeing it in person, it's adorable. Mom and I were saying from the photos online, these didn't look like this material, like the chiffon. It looked like stiff cotton, but they are chiffon so it's very flowy um i love that and i like that the top has the embroidery along the bust area <laughs> and then the back says seize your moment oh my gosh it's so pretty i would love to see you in this dress because i think you'd be so cute and i think those are 128 they usually are it only it goes up when it has an accessory like a cardigan or something with it it is a um, heavy dress i think because of all of the detail on the bottom yeah 128 this girl knows her prices and it's not I, my first dress shop rodeo, people. I still love the, the Haunted Mansion, right? Yeah, we saw that one at um, Wonderland Gallery at Springs. But there's another dress over here that's also new. And it's the inside out dress. And I, don't, I did not like that movie. Didn't like it. Yeah, same. 
but I love, I think the dress is so pretty. It's really, it's really cute. And it's fun because you can meet Joy and Sadness at Epcot, so that'd be a fun dress to meet them in and get cute pictures, you know? And it's the same exact sort of top as the, the Coco one. The one. And that's the kind of style I prefer, um, just for my body type. <laughs> and then how about this one? Yep, and that's the Oogie Boogie one, Mom. That's the one I love. Oogie I Boogie. love this band, like this cool striped band under the chest. I love the, it looks like, um, what's that wheel? And, um, you know, because he's a gambling man, so it's like a gambling wheel. Ah, oh, so cool. I just love it. 128. I think the model. Yeah, the model. Yeah, the model. Um, the mannequin has it styled so cute with black crinoline and black fishnets with little heels. So you can kind of see with the kettle and, and how it fluffs and out the her, skirt. And her Mickey ears. Oh my gosh, I did not know that they put earrings on the mannequins. Nice little detail there, Disney. I also like that I believe this is a fuller size model and this is a thinner size, so that's nice. Yeah. I appreciate that. And I like that style of dress, the Haunted Mansion dress. Let's check all these out, Mom. They're all, um, oh my gosh, it's like so throwback. But even this stuff, this looks super 90s to me. Is this not 90s? It looks like it. That's really cute. Peace, love, and Mickey. Yeah, it, it, even the tag says authentic vintage Disney parks. It's $30. And then we've got this one. This is the one the mannequin is wearing. Mickey Mouse. Yeah. And that one is 39 99 so 40 Oh, yeah. And that's definitely a larger size on her, so they pulled it down over her shoulder. This is like a yin yang Mickey, $36.99. I like the yester ears, that one's cute. Pleasure Island, which we don't have anymore. So that one is $34.99, and the Pleasure Island one is very, very bright banana yellow, and it's $36.99. They also have, look at this one, Grad Night. That's cute. That's so fun. This would be so cute if you are actually a wildcat. Yeah, like if I went to U of A, $34.99. Let's look at how cute these are. High School Musical. Okay, that one is red sleeve one, black sleeve one. This one is what? $39.99. Mm -hmm. And then this little... Wildcats everywhere. $34.99. Which is fun because it's like air. reverse print. It does, yeah. Like you could flip it inside out, possibly. Yeah. Oh, Bolton. Troy Bolton, number 14. Yeah, I guess you can't just wear that if you're a wildcat. I know, right? Once a wildcat, always a wildcat is $36.99. Here's the shorts. The shorts are cute, just like, you know, at home, they loungy. Nice. They're $34.99. Those are sweet. And I love this poo, the little poo section. These are little biker shorts, I think. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think they're like little... Oh, they are. Those are cute. Actually. Right? Because I do not like these very much. No. Those are cute. And then you can pair it with that, I believe, in naps. Or, oh, I know I really like that. That's cute. Oh, yeah, but the naps is more you probably. Right? <laughs> That's perfect nap outfit. Listen. <laughs> naps is 37. And the shorts were 34. The pants mom showed are 44. And that top. with And this is a pocket, by the way. A little honey pot pocket. 37. So cute. I'm not mad. Those are cute. I love that. Across the way, we found another authentic vintage Disney piece. It's $49.99, so $50. Um, I think it's because of the embroidery, honestly. But I love how they have it styled on this mannequin up here, how it's tied top. Um, and then the sleeves are rolled up. I think it would be super cute with high waisted shorts and a thick belt. Oh, I love the Mickey Bar pocket. Yeah. That's $36.99. Also, her universe, you've just got like um, the fuchsia pink and white striping on the collar and the armbands. That one's really sweet. That one's $36.99 as well. And I think these ones over here were her universe too, the best day ever. All right, we're gonna go get some sweets now, I think. <laughs> This is the cluster outside of Backlot right now. I've said it before and I'll say it again. One thing that I think Universal did brilliantly is that when you go to a quick service location, you're sat at a table. 
seated at a table and then you place your mobile order from your table, the food is brought to you. Where Disney, what they do, you just kind of stand outside and place your mobile order on your phone and then everybody ends up just standing in a cluster until your mobile order is ready, then you go pick it up, then have to find a table. So the process is really weird and it forces everybody to stand in an area where then people don't become socially distant. But anyway, mom and I ordered the last eclair um, that we're gonna try for our Halloween treats video. So if you haven't seen that yet, go check that out. And while we're waiting for that, we found this, um, I think this is where you could originally meet Olaf, right? Yeah, you know what I noticed is that this is all the same sort of animation that they have at Runaway. Runaway, really? Um, so this is a new short. It's a Mickey and Minnie vacation sh fun short. I'm excited. It's something new. Yeah, it's something new. So we're going to check it out while we're waiting for our time slot to return for our eclair. It's crazy. So anyway, ready to check it out. That's not Disney, though. Disney definitely tried. Every, every store we've been in, I've seen them wiping down the plastic screens in between. Yeah. Their cast members are really trying to keep open people's face, but it's guests who are not paying attention or ordering and just clustering. Yeah. So it's not Disney for sure. I right. Say. I would just say, yeah, I still think it would be better on them to have people seated, place the order, then eat. But I under I mean I get it. Anyway. What are we doing? I got my mom bought for me, because I've spoiled two of the Cocoa Wishables. And I also have the completer, the little Olive Rihe Dante. Cuteness. But we know what he looks like. These are fun because it's a mystery. So you can get Miguel, Hector, Ernesto de la Cruz, and Dante. And we stood in the shop and like felt all of them. But because the three people are like people form, they're very similar. Yeah, you so we couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. I'm hoping for any of them except Ernesto since he's the villain. Spoiler. I got Hector! Oh my god, he's so oh, cute! I love the color on his face. Look, Look at his little, little gold, gold tooth! Cute. I cannot! Oh my god, I love him! Okay. So we got a Hector. So hopefully this is Miguel or Dante and not Ernesto. It's Ernesto. <laughs> oh my god, he's really cute though. But he's a different one. No, it's Ernesto. No, well you got him. Oh you yeah, him. yeah, not a duplicate, right. So I did not get Miguel or Dante, but I got Ernesto. Which is the one that felt fatter? I think it was this one. He's a big boy. Hector. And Dante. Very cute. They're really sweet. These are really fun, these little wishables. And I like that they're coming out with attraction or like movie based ones. Because the sweets ones are really cute too, but these are definitely very specific. So if you have a favorite movie or a favorite attraction like Runaway Railway, these are good souvenirs and, um, you know, collectibles for them. They're so cute. Yay! I love them all. We were leaving studios and we're on the way home and I checked Instagram and saw the Disney Food blog posted these new frosted berry color ears just dropped and we literally turned the car around <laughs> and came to Springs. We're this, still on Disney property. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is my mauve color, my favorite color. So I'm like, I need them. I love that one color. So you're literally getting three pairs of ears today. It's horrible. I did pick up the green ones and those orange corduroy ones when we were at studios but uh i don't remember the last time i bought a pair of ears yeah, so time, right? <laughs> so we found some new baby yoda merch which i think Gable would love that that's really cool and i like that it actually has mando in it too the helmet how much is that oh 54.99 and then look at this little workout that they have for ladies it's so cute Stronger than you think. It's like, I'm sure it's like leisure. Yeah. yeah, I laugh leisure. Him and his little sippy cup. It's so cute. Those are 39. And the top is some amount, um, 36.99. We're always looking for um, child stuff for him. Yes. Christmas gift. He loves the child. Your shop is so cute. <laughs> 
So here's the baby Yoda display. Mom should put back the sweater. I mean it is. So this is for original Yoda. Look at this old man here. Yeah, he's old. Um, but then they also have the baby Yoda headband, which is fully plush and so, so cute. And that one doesn't have a price on it, so I don't know how much it is. But they do have these little mirrors, so you can try it on and see. There's the little set mom found. Jackie for the dog? No, I think it's for a baby. It's so cute. Um, we also saw these Crocs at studios today. I did not film them because it was as we were leaving. But the selection here is way bigger than the ones at studios. I think these are brand new today too. Yeah. I mean, I think they're really cute. They are. They're $54.99. They're soft. Yeah. I have some Crocs. They're not this soft. But that little old guy is cute. I mean, yeah, the selection is way bigger. They have way more. There's way more people here too. And a lot more people here. Yeah, definitely. Because you don't need a reservation to come here like you do for the parks. This top, Mom, you showed me at Studios. This yeah. one, right? It's a little like tie top. So, so cute. cute. There's other Crocs that are just white. Um, they have this one too. I feel like we've seen these ones before, but the Baby Yoda section is definitely growing. For sure. They're getting more and more merch for it. Okay guys, that was our time shopping at Hollywood Studios. It was really fun. Oh, this is the reminder to wear your mask. <laughs> um, it was really fun to be shopping back in the park again since we kind of have been staying around Disney Springs. And you know, I've got uh, some great self-control. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll talk to you next time.